Welcome tankers! Today we are going to look at the tier 4 AFB known as the Swingfire. And up until a couple hours ago, this was by far the most unique tank in the game. But they pushed an update with, which dramatically changes how you can play the tank. Now here I'm going to shoot at this Sheridan, but up till yesterday, I used to be able to sit 10 meters behind where I am now and shoot over this hill by zooming out into third person view and shooting at targets that could not fire back at you. And everyone was complaining about this and how OP the swing fire was, so they nerfed it. And those people must not have actually played the tank because it's nowhere near as OP as, say, the Sheridan, which is about a thousand times worse. And now that they've required it to have line of sight, this tank isn't going to be very good at all because it has the best view range in the game so it's supposed to scout and it's supposed to be up on the front lines but they've given it a gun that requires it to sit still now exposed for at least eight or ten seconds every time it fires because you have to wait you have to stop wait three seconds then you have to fire and then guide your missile which usually has a flight time of at least five seconds so this tank isn't going to be anywhere near as OP as it was when you could shoot over hills, which, might I remind you, is a feature of the original tank. <laughs> so they changed things away from reality to make the tank worse. And you have to be very careful when playing this tank, because almost any tank you face can kill it in seconds. Two shots at the most, really. And this thing has no armor, so you aren't going to bounce shots ever. So yeah, you, and it's not particularly agile or fast, so you do not want to play it as an active scout. That's more the VBL's role. But it does come with tremendous camo, so you can often fire at tanks from a much closer distance than you could otherwise. So now I'm pretty sure I know where all the enemy tanks are here, so I am moving up a bit further than I would if there were more people on the hill here. And now there are tanks behind the building over on my right, and they'll all be looking away from me, most likely, so I'm thinking I can go up, peek around this building, and hopefully get some shots into the side or rear of those other tanks before they have a chance to turn their turrets around and shoot me. So once this guy pulls back, that's what I think I will do. And it looks like he's hiding behind a rock, so let's try that. Let's pull forward and see if we can get some shots at the backs or sides of these tanks over on my right, because I'm pretty sure I'm safe from the hill. Unfortunately, I didn't want to see that guy there, because he probably spotted me. And look how fast that, that MBT can turn his turret to me and aim. Faster than I can aim, <laughs> shoot and fire, and back off, because he didn't even start turning to me until I'd already fired. <laughs> so we'll get to a bit better position, and we'll take him out for our second kill. Now since I, I have a great few range, I do want to be somewhat near the front and light all the tanks for my teammates. And there we get another kill. So now with everyone pushing, I'm going to try and get to the top of the hill and spot as many tanks as I can. What few tanks are remaining anyway. And hopefully this guy is looking at my friends on the left, so that looks like we'll get a free shot at him here, and we do. And unfortunately it's not quite enough to kill him. But my teammates finish him off pretty quickly, and now the game's just all but over. And it's just mopping up the last couple tanks. <laughs> 